Okay, we're moving along in the problem set. So now I'm going to, you know, you know, kind of less writing. But what I'm trying to get across is that a lot of times when you're, you're given an answer key, you look at it and, and don't know what did they do, what did they do. That's where most students, the connection between paper, pencil, and what they did is ne really a necessary. Um, they need to be pushed in that direction. So it goes over and says, in any arithmetic progression, the sum of the first M terms less twice the sum of the M plus one terms plus the sum of the first M plus two terms equals the common difference. Well, I'll be honest with you, that's a mouthful. So, you know, reading that, I, I just want to kind of step through it. And as I do it, 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 it may not be easy to do, to, to read that. And I'm going to go one step at a time. And the first thing they do is they just simply write the relationship down for a n. And that's one you probably should know now. The next thing they did was they wrote down what s n equals. s n is the sum of a 1 up to a n. Then the question is, what did they write down over here, and why did they write it down? And what they're writing down over here, which is something that's commonly done, they're writing the differences of sums down. So if you were to write those things down, I hope you realize, you know, Sn plus 1 would, I'll write that down for you, Sn plus 1 would be A1 plus A2 plus A3, yada, 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 up to An plus An plus 1. And Sn is A1 plus A2 plus A3, yada, 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 up to An. And if you did the subtraction, as they said, you know, Sn plus 1 minus Sn, you get An plus 1. Stands to reason. So I'm understanding that. All right, let me erase this over here. We talked about it, kind of understand it. We're going line by line. I want to go back and read it to you. And it says, in any arithmetic progression, the sum of the first m terms, le then it says less twice the sum of the first m plus 1 terms. Wow, that's a lot of work. So I, I got to start writing that down, right? Seeing what that means to me. And it, at the end, these, each step I put down, you got to think about it. I mean, this is a given. That's a pretty much given. This may require some thinking over here. And if you're not willing to think about that, I think the next steps are not going to make any more sense to you. So you, you go line by line and you start thinking about it. But let me write down what they said. And it's really kind of a tongue twister. The sum of the first M terms... Well, that's going to be SM. Less twice the sum of the first M plus N terms. I'll write that down. Got to keep reading it. Plus the sum of the first M plus 2 terms. Boy, that's a lot of work. So I'm starting to realize it has something to do with the, that, the thing I just wrote down before, this thing over here. But I don't see it. What I see is that 2 there, and I haven't seen 2. So I'll split it into two parts. So it's going to be S M minus S M plus 1 minus S M plus 1 plus S M plus 2. All right? I'm looking at this thing, and I, I'm going to just kind of try to rewrite it so it looks more like this thing over here. Right? More like that. And let me see if I can do that. And I'm going to take this thing here, and I can write a little bit differently. I'm going to write it as, let's see, S M plus 2 minus S M plus 1. That's these two terms here. And then I'm going to say minus S M plus 1 minus S M. All right? And then I'm going to use this fact over here to see if I can write that down. Well, it, it's really one thing at a time, so I'm going to write this guy down first. And what would that be? That would be A, 
m plus 2 minus, well, what's the second guy going to be equal to? Well, that's just like the other one. So that's going to be a m plus 1. All right, let me show you where this is. And this is right over here. All right, we got that. All right, I'm going to start to erase things because we're, we're kind of moving along. And moving along means that you, you know, you, you, although you have a past, you want to move forward to the next line. All right? They say that equals the common difference. Well, let's write this down. And I'm going to write down, you know, the common difference. Right? So let's write this down. A N equals A1 plus N minus 1 D. But I notice I got an M there, right? So write this down over here. What would AM look like? Well, it still looks like this. A1, but now it's M minus 1 D. All right? And what would AM plus 1 look like? Well, it's still going to look like A1, but now it's going to be MD. And what would AM plus 2 look like? Well, it would look like A1 plus M plus 1D. So I'm going to rewrite this guy. And what does AM plus 2 look like? It looks like this. It looks like A1 plus M plus 1D. And now we're going to subtract away this guy. And let me be careful about that. That's A1 plus MD. What happens here? Well, the A1s disappear. That's for sure. And then you get M plus 1 minus M, which would be D. And that's what they said. That's what we got. We're verifying what they said. That's all we've done. All right. They're tough reading, though. I know that. A lot of times read these things. If you didn't have a, a, a key or someone talking you through it, you may not be able to do it. The more you look at this stuff, though, the more you'll be able to do these things without having a key present. And that's what we're trying to get you towards, being able to do things without a key. I'll be honest with you, though. It is really nice to have a key. And the reason for that is you have something to look at and mull over. All right? However, I have people complain about this. They say, if you have the key, I can't stop looking at it. Fair enough. If you can't stop looking at it, take a piece of paper and block it out. And do it on a piece of paper. See if you can do it. All right? Thank you.